Iowa is one of 13 teams this season where a father is coaching a son. And in Fran McCaffrey's case, he's pulling a double shift coaching two. His oldest son, Connor, is having a breakout season for the Hawkeyes. But have you ever wondered what it's really like playing for dad? Well, I sat down with Fran and Connor, and for them, it has always been deeper than basketball. Have you ever done something like this where you sat down together and, and got to talk about life and, and, and basketball, anything like that? I don't think no. so, no. Well, no. now we have first a first, time. and you heard it here first. KCC Sports is what we do. <laughs> <laughs> You know, watching him balance baseball, basketball, and most importantly, academics. I'm probably most proud of the fact that he was on the all-district academic all-American team than anything else. Yep. He is such a huge part of what we're doing, but it's been pretty easy to coach him. Now, Connor, Dad says it's easy to coach you, but is it easy to be coached by Dad, and has it always been that easy? Uh, sometimes he's a little stubborn, so I... Uh, you to deal with that but my mom is definitely turned into you know one of my one of my you know biggest fans i, I feel like i can i can do no wrong in her eyes uh, <laughs> even when i even when i don't play well it doesn't matter that's good she, to have yeah exactly <laughs> so i mean you know it, if i do something bad you know he might say something but i know she's not going to so and i know that she might say something to him if he yells at me too much so i don't know what were the conversations like preparing him for this and, and for the external pressures of, of being the coach's son. I, mean, I remember when he was young, I would take him on the road with our team so he could see some of the road venues. I said, okay, now I want you to watch how the crowd responds in this game. How do our players respond? I want you to look at the game a little bit differently than just, hey, we scored, that's great. Okay, how did we score? We would have those conversations and I think they were very healthy as a result. And he never felt like I was judging every possession of every game that he played in. Yeah, so it wasn't like, hey, dad, read me a bedtime story. All right, cool, I got some game film for you. Or like, <laughs> did you guys have those moments where you were still able to, to be, you know, dad and son and, and embrace that? It just kind of happens naturally. Like, you know, when we're sitting, you know, at, at dinner, we'll, we'll talk about games. We'll talk about, you Drives know. his mother we'll, crazy Yeah, my, my mom, no, <laughs> I it, can imagine. it does. She, she's always like, oh my God, can we not talk about this one time? Like, please. <laughs> He never got into anything that most really young kids get into, you know, whether... Like Patrick. Like Patrick, <laughs> Patrick, Patrick did. did. How cool has it been having Patrick on the team as well? Really cool, really cool. I mean, he, we, we played together in high school now that he's here. I get to see him, you know, every day uh, and, you know, give him rides places and stuff like yeah. that because he still can't drive. Um, <laughs> So you get to be big brother. <laughs> exactly, yeah. exactly. You would think two brothers that are as competitive as they are, yeah. that are 18 months apart, uh, would fight more. Mm. And they really haven't. They've been best buddies. Yeah, that's probably because he lets them drive sometimes. You probably don't know nothing about it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah, exactly. No, I, I wouldn't trust him. No, no I wouldn't really. trust him. No. Behind the wheel, you know. <laughs> I, would, I trust my sister, not Patrick. Not Patrick. No. That's funny.